So the first thing you need to do is go to this long URL here. I hope you're copying it down. Joking. The link for this will be down below. Then we will get this right there. You will see Tope Drone Update Driver Documentation. We then need to click on that. Once we click on that, we get three things here. We need to click on each one of these. And then you'll notice up here it says download. So we click download. Then you can go ahead and click back. We'll click on the next one. Click download. Bam. Then you go back. And click on the next one. Click download. Bam. Once you've done that, then... On your desktop or wherever you saved it, you will have these three files. I've put them in a folder. The first one is language, which you really don't need at all. The second one is the update, and the third one is the program. Before we connect the drone, I just want to show you the program and show you how to turn it from that, which we don't understand unless uh, that's our native language. But down here on the bottom, let's see, right here, right here, Beep. down at the bottom you can turn it into English it is only available in English and Chinese um, and check it out man we have basically what Betaflight is um, we have we can control our pitching and everything um, yeah I wouldn't switch to frame type fly function I'm not really sure what that's about it's this current voltage landing voltage um, this this is cool this is why and again you'll be able to see if it's connected or not. So this is definitely awesome. Again, the camera's not great on this drone, but flyability and with sensitivity controls, we can make flyability even better and more aggressive uh, is pretty epic. So the next thing we need to do is connect our drone to the computer. I'm going to stop the recording here and do that. And then uh, you want this app closed first. We're gonna close this app, connect the drone to the computer. Once your drone's connected to the computer, you will get red lights blinking on your LEDs here, and you'll also hear a notification from your computer that is connected. Make sure you are using a tight connection. If you have an old micro USB that you've beat up and the connection's not so good, don't use that. Use a newer one that way when you're updating, it doesn't disconnect and screw up your drone. So then we need to double click this. And again, each time you go in here, you'll have to change the language, which is down here, English. Click English. Now we will need to browse for the file. So we are clicking browse. It's bringing me up here. And bam, though, it's right there. So we are going to double click that. And then we need to click right. We are writing. It is writing the firmware, as you can see down there. Very simple process to do this. This should take care of the stall stutter start and stop motor type thing. That's what this uh, update is for. Like uh, if you see my yesterday's video, it took me it took me a little bit to get the motors to fire, but this should fix it. And this is the first time I'm doing it too. So this is uh, Amzo. Firmware with success. Please reconnect for new framework. I'm not sure what that means. For new firmware, not framework, firmware. Please reconnect for new firmware. And that should be it. Um, I don't think we have to do anything else. Um, we'll go back into here to show you sensitivity. See, they have, dude, this is turned way down. <laughs> this is turned way down man um we can really adjust some of this stuff here uh absolutely we can make the pitch greater um the roll we can make greater our yawing we could up but uh we're gonna leave it the way it is right now um we'll show you status over here of the drone i have it sitting next to me and i'm moving it it's moving on screen uh, it's definitely connected. So this is cool. They they have basically beta flight, which this isn't beta flight, but this is what beta flight does. All right, guys. So I figured I'd do the update. We've done the update. And what we're going to do now, I'm satisfied with range. I'm sure we can go further. I'm satisfied with the range that we got yesterday. If you didn't see that video, definitely check out the video. I'm locked on the 10 satellites here. Um, 
that that program's pretty dope. What we're gonna do here, we're I, I got 52% battery from yesterday. We're going to lightly fly this around my yard, put it up a little bit in altitude, and see what type of footage we can. We have a class 10 in there. Then I'm going to show you left and right rates, and forward and backward rates, and buzz up and down in the field, and then land it, and then go inside and adjust the rates, and see if it's indeed adjust the pitching and gave this a more aggressive flight. Let's go. So we're going to hold ends. It's still doing that same thing even after the update. So I'm holding ends. And I guess I'm going to hold ends until it does the second fire. Easy, 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 easy. Well, that ain't no good. We're going to hold down. Shut it off. That's a good way to mess up. Thing vibrates around so much. Alright, so we should be good. We're going to go up. It's a lot better in the air. <laughs> a lot better in the air. And what we are going to do is we're going to sit. Sitting. It does. That initial startup really needs work. We're at 32%. I might not be able to do this full testing. Now it's drifting. It's drifting horribly. We're only locked on to six satellites. It lost satellites somehow. But let's go ahead and uh, record. I also did not calibrate this, which I should have because it's calibrated over to my field. So we're recording. It is sitting there. I'm going to put it right here. Wave high, wave high. And then we're going to get back behind it. We're just going to move it up this way a little bit. Twenty-three percent. I don't think I'm going to be able to do my test that I wanted to, um, as far as the pitch rate goes. But this should be good, as far as uh, as far as the camera goes, just to look at it. Gonna let it sit there. Gonna turn this way. Go up a little higher. Gonna bring it down. Gonna walk in front of it again. It's raising out too, just a little bit, just to get in frame. Kind of walk up to it, see how it's taken. Woo! Um, and then we're gonna stop recording. Make sure that we got that. We got 20% battery. See, that's a pretty heavy pitch. Even to move that pitch, like if we increase the pitch more, that's a pretty heavy pitch. So I don't know. Um, maybe we'll save that for another video. Because that pitch is pretty heavy, man. Um, we're at 17%. Really don't want this doing a return home in my residential neighborhood. But let's go ahead and 17%. Uh, clicking record again, going under it. I'm going to walk around it. And again, this is just stabilized. Of course, we're not sport flying this. What I will do though, we got 17% battery, is I'm gonna turn this around. I'm gonna take it downfield. We're gonna backpedal. Lightly backpedal. That way we get some type of footage. And the Wi-Fi is much better today than it was yesterday, uh, probably with the AIO off of it. Um, we're still sitting at 17%. Let's go ahead and go by the Cadillac. See if we can get a shot of the Cadillac. I'm gonna get a little closer. A little closer. <laughs> 